keep it secrets to different bills. Hey, don't go dim me, you need it, I got it listed, yeah. You wanna make it, I'll show you just how to make it, yeah. I got all the rarest bills, and I ain't done, yeah. I'm from the finish to making bills like a prospect. Flow space and slashes to catching us with a lot threat. You keep the medals, cause the real ones coming up next. Only scratch the surface, still they try to drag my name in dirt, they try to bring me down. See me when you ain't like me. Good, my nephews and nieces. This is your favorite uncle, Uncle Demi, and today I have another special banger for you, all right? Today we're going to talk about how to make rookie T Max um, build. Now, before we get into that, make sure you drop a like and subscribe, liken up the video, push the video to the recommended, and of course, subscribe and put your noti game for my daily dub uploads. But now let's hop straight into this video. So, when we're talking about young T Mac, rookie T Mac, obviously we're talking about one when he played for the Raptors. And again, rookie T Mac's a lot different than prime T Mac, right? So, I want people to understand the difference. A lot of the rookies when they come in, Vince Carter, Michael Jordan, Kobe Bryant, Tracy McGrady, some of the greatest two guards of all time. They came in the game very athletic, high flyer. Um, some had really good defense, you know, but most of them were pretty limited in shooting. Um, I would say, if anything, Vince and um, Vince was probably, obviously when he came in, he was a better shooter than all of them. And, you know, overall, he was just a better shooter in general, period. But regardless, um, this is a really solid build that I really like. So shooting guard, obviously, T-Mac's right-handed, jersey number one. Um, T-Mac is 6'8", but again, man, going 6'9 is so much cheese because by going 6'9", you get all the um, benefits of the glitch broken build. So we're going to go 6'9". Then 206 pounds. Wingspan, I actually get the luxury of just maxing it out, so we're maxing it out. And of course, you know, T-Mac, rookie T-Mac was very small and skinny when we came straight out of high school. He was just 18 years old, but we're still going to go to fine. But it looks perfectly um, for his physique. Now, um, usually I go 85 on a close shot, but again, we're making T-Mac. So I went 93. Now, by going 93, you would get fearless finisher on Hall of Fame. And honestly, that's going to be pretty toxic because now going to the basket if you're not dunking it and it puts you in a layup animation you got fearless finisher on hall of fame um so that's going to help you out a lot same here we want to go 84 because by going 84 it will give you the acrobat on gold again we don't need to go no higher than that because we do know that zach levine thus far is the best layup package in the game and you don't need 80 but we go 84 to be able to get the acrobat on gold then driving dunk, yes, you got to go 93. We're talking about T-Mac here. So we're going 93 here. What that's going to give you, okay, is gold posterizer, gold limitless, and gold slithery. So you're already getting some nasty combinations of finishing with this build. Obviously, when young T-Mac we're talking about here was a good finisher. And then we're going to go 80 on rise up to be able to get that on silver, okay? So that's what we're looking at right there all straight face to the basket remember post control that's something he didn't have so we're going to skip that then we're going to go 79 on the mid-range and 79 on the three ball now i know some of y'all gonna be like man he won't shoot him like that and, and honestly he wasn't really stroking it like that either we all know that right but this is a video game and we're still able to get um this up high enough to where we still want to make sure we're putting money in it that it makes sense so we want to go here okay so 79 on mid-range and three ball so you will be able to shoot it pretty well I'm um, not pretty well. You should be shooting really well, honestly. Um, especially if you have um, arm sleeve that get that three ball to an 80. You know how it works, man. There's a lot of stuff that can help you here. Um, blinders and catch and shoot will be on silver. You get green machine on silver, okay? Claymore on gold, amped on gold, volume shooter, Hall of Fame. Some really good stuff here, right? So that's going to give you 19. And again, we're not really worrying that much on shooting because we know T Mac wasn't a shoot great shooter um, his first couple years in the league. But regardless, he's still able to do that. Same thing here. We're going to max out our ball handle and our um, speed with ball so we can get that Michael Jordan dribble style. And then we want to go 76 on the pass accuracy. Um, so we're looking at 20 here. You get hyperdrive as a tier one badge at gold. You get quick first step on gold. And you get toxic clamp breaker on gold. Handles for days on silver. And then, of course, gold on pluckable. So you basically have everything you need um to be able to finish and get to the basket this build right here is all meant to get close to the basket and score right um it's t-mac we're talking about here right um defensively obviously t-mac wasn't a great defender but he was respectable i would say right you know what i mean come on he won't kobe and he won't mj but we still want to go 60 interior defense we want to go 75 on that perimeter defense which is very important because it also is associated with your lateral quickness right then we want to go ahead and go 78 on the steel now by going 70 in the steel it does give you interceptor on silver so that's the reason i went that high and then we go 75 on the block 
because he get that chase down on gold. And again, explosive athlete like T-Mac. He had a lot of chase down blocks um, his rookie season, the first couple of years in the season um, of his career. Remember, he did come off the bench. He didn't start. So, I mean, like I said, at the end of the day, he was young, but he was so talented and explosive like Kobe. You know what I mean? Kobe and Trey T-Mac did not come into the league cooking right they sat on the bench for a couple years they came off as role players like they had their early time you know a lot of times when you know they were 18 well kobe was 17 you're 17 18 years old most of these guys are still in high school and or they're you know freshmen and in, in, in college these guys are playing in the nba right so again but i still like how i got the 70 i was able to get seven defensive rebound to be able to get that bronze rebound chaser so all in all the defense is solid enough like i, I can really see like being able to be productive with these type of attributes so i'm glad i was able to do that then we're going to of course you got to max out your acceleration and then go 77 on your speed right we're going to go 35 on that strength 82 on the vert right and then of course you want to go ahead and go 90 on the stamina we want to go 82 on that vert because you want to get all those elite contact dunks since you do have a 93 driving dunk don't need to go to 85 to get the little man elite contact dunks because you are not under 65 okay so um, this is what we're looking at 2019 2017 I think this is solid all the way around man love the build you get slashing you get shot creating you get sharp and you get playmaking I went easy blow buys and limitless range threes you know I love this combination if they play too close up on you defensively with this takeover you can blow right by them if they play too far off you can just shoot it from deep I love this combination here so I'm going this route even though he wasn't a great shooter we still know that it's still going to be fun. But check this out, though. Like, look at the first shades, man. Tracy McGrady, young T-Mac. Doesn't even look like him, right? Like, he was young. Keep in mind, man, he was young right here, man. He probably, like, this elbow pad, is, his elbow sleeve is too big on him, man. Like, he was young, man. I think, it, I mean, obviously, he was 18, 19 right here. So, but keep in mind, man. And it's an athletic finisher, so that's pretty dope. So, now what we're going to do is this. We'll test this build out real quick. Get 99. Of course, we'll get you out of here. So, let's go ahead and do that real quick. Let's max this out here. Boom. Uh, um, what we want to do here, of course, fearless finisher. We want to get that, and we want to get limitless takeoff. So let me see. Let's make sure we get a 10 first, because down here, what we want to do is, this is the options you have, right? I want to speak on this real quick, because fast switch is a good one, but I think we probably better off just going posterizer and then rise up, come up here, get this, and then get slithery, all right? This is what I'm thinking. Now, if you want to get fast twitch and you're able to double core, then you can get both of these. You can get all these by double coring. If you're not able to double core, you can add you know, all your finishing badges here to get fast switch. Don't get me wrong, fast switch is good to have, but when you're dunking and doing a lot of stuff, maybe it's just not that important. And in this instance, I don't think it's that important, right? Um, on the shooting side, you want to get that green machine. Um, you want to get that volume shooter. So that's eight. Let's get two more here. Um, let's go nine, 10. And then we come down here. The only ones I can I'll see is core blinders, and then maybe catch and shoot is a good one also, just because of the 79 three ball. I like this combination here. Come back up here, get Claymore also again because you can sit corner and get the catch and shoot and Claymore to work together. And then the last one I can see if you want to do any type of hot shot fades or anything like that, you can do that. But in this case, I probably just go ahead and go amped um, and call it a day. Don't worry about adding any badges here. You want to add badges here though, okay? So you want to get your quick first step. Um, you want to get your hyperdrive. So that's eight, nine, ten, we need two more. So let's just go here. That's our two. Down here. Remember, you want to have to add badges. Go ahead and get your own right here. You get your clan breaker. And you see right here, you got to add three badges here to be able to get your handles for days. Okay, so at least three badges here um, to do that. So keep that in mind. And then on the defensive side, you want to get your clamps. Of course you want chase down that's eight nine ten let's get two right here for pick dodger that's one um two for right now because down here what we want to get is core um rebound chaser obviously get anchor you want both of those they come back up and then we want to get menace we don't have pick dodger and we can get glove right there's something just to throw on but regardless you're gonna have a lot of fun with this build because of the finishing and the fact of it's called athletic finisher there's so much about that being a rare build to also know that it's a pretty competitive build so there you have it. Let me know in the comment section what you think about this build. But other than that, this is your favorite old head, Uncle Demi. I'll be back really, really soon with another banger, man. And you know, when I say back soon with another banger, you know exactly what day I'm talking about. I'm talking about tomorrow, man. I'm out.